स्टूडेंट्स डू यू हैव ए लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग वर्ब यू डोंट नो वट इज ऑक्जिलरी वर्ब वट इज मेन वर्ब वट इज ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब वट इज इंट्रांजिटिव वर्ब योर टीचर्स आर कंटिन्यूसली टेलिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स बट योर डाउट इज नॉट क्लियरिंग देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू After watching this full video I can surely say that you will have you will not have a single confusion regarding verb so let's get started so my dear students let us start this video you can see here is a tree diagram okay this is verb okay as i told you that if you have a lot of confusion regarding verb then this video is for you okay so verb is actually having two types okay verb is having two types one is called auxiliary or helping verb and another one is main verb or action verb so two types are first one is auxiliary verb or we can say that helping verb another one is main verb or action verb so what is auxiliary verb sir remember one thing that is in a sentence auxiliary verb always sit before the main verb okay auxiliary verb always sit before the main verb so what is main verb main verb in this case suppose uh, any kind of action that is why it is also called action verb okay any kind of action go play write all these things are action okay so these are the main verb and auxiliary verbs are the helping verbs okay so Auxil generally see auxiliary verb are two types one is primary auxiliary another one is called modals okay one is primary auxiliary another one is modals okay so total in auxiliary verb total we have 16 auxiliary verb in english grammar okay so first one is primary auxiliary primary auxiliary is having three number one that is to be verb okay so what are the to be verbs am is are was and were okay then number 2 number 2 is to have verb have verbs are have has and had these are the have verbs and do verb to do verb to do verbs are do does and did okay so these all are the primary auxiliaries okay the all these are the helping verbs these are the primary auxiliary or primary helping verb okay then another type of auxiliary verb or helping verb is called modals okay remember the pronunciation is modals not models okay i have seen that many uh, many of people are continuously telling models models this is not models this is modals okay so modals are having total 13 1 3 13 modals we have in english grammar ha huh. then so what are the modals can could will would shall should may might must dare ought to used to need to okay so how to remember all these things all these modals are can could will would shall should may might ought to used to need to must dear so these are the modals so how to remember all these modals there is a secret okay so see the secret i'm here to help you you have to remember one thing that is c w s m okay C W S M. So C for can could, W for will would, S for shall should, M for may might must. Okay. So total nine we have completed. Then you have dare and ought to, used to, need to. This thing you have to just remember. But first nine very easy to remember. C W S M. Can could, will would, shall should. may might must dare ought to used to need to these are the modal verbs okay then the main verb types of main verb that is transitive verb another one is called intransitive verb 
main verb is having two types one is transitive verb one is intransitive verb another one is intransitive verb okay so what is transitive verb sir transitive verbs you can see in this in this sentence he speaks the truth so this is the verb we know speaks here speaks is the verb as it is third person singular number that is we have that that's why we have used here s so he speaks the truth speaks is the verb okay so this speaks is here transitive verb okay how you can differentiate in this two thing in intransitive verb in intransitive verb you can see that he speaks loud slowly he speaks slowly in transitive verb in transitive verb after the verb okay after the verb object is used okay object part is used he speaks the truth the truth is the object part okay so that is that is why it is called the speak is called transitive verb in transitive verb after the verb object is used see in this sentence he speaks the truth okay so this is the object part and see in this sentence intransitive verb he speaks slowly okay he speaks slowly here slowly is adverb okay here slowly is adverb this is not object okay so that is why this is intransitive verb by this way you can easily identify which one is transitive verb which one is intransitive verb in transitive verb always remember after the verb object will be used okay and in intransitive verb there will be no object there will be any uh, any uh, adjective or adverb you will get adjective you will not get you will get only adverb okay this is the difference between these two thing if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends thank you